everyone it's me crystal and welcome back to crystal's food reviews and other things today i do not have other things to do because there's just nothing going on but what i do have for you is a food review for a new place called slim chickens and i keep saying slim pickings and I don't know why. So first, before we start anything, I want to talk about a couple things. First of all, as you'll notice, I have a new car, finally. Um, I'm not going to tell you what kind of car it is because people that will, will then start saying, Oh, you shouldn't have got that car. It has this problem. You shouldn't have got that car because this is wrong with it. We ain't doing that. So just know I have a new car that works. Um, there is no window thing in the back, so I cannot put I cannot put my decorations up. I'll have to figure out maybe some man or woman can make a board to put back there, and maybe I can um, start decorating again for holidays. Because we have um, Halloween coming up, we have um, Christmas. You know, just a lot of holidays. I love decorating, so next thing i want to talk about is my shirt i got this in daytona beach and you might say how do you remember you get you got it there because it says it right here in cursive daytona beach and also people might say when did you get that beautiful shirt right there listed so me and tammy picked up us a couple of these beautiful airbrush shirts because when you are on vacation in a in a beach area you're going to want to get an airbrush shirt and of course, I picked Tweety Bird standing on a beach because Tweety Bird loves to go to the beach just like I do. All right, so let's get started. I did have to wait in line for approximately one hour uh, because it was very busy. So we have a large, maybe a souvenir cup of Coca-Cola. Looks like it has crushed ice, which is my favorite. We have a straw to put in there. As you'll notice, the straw has a very large opening. I mean, that is very large. That is larger than any. That's like a smoothie straw. I'm going to put it in here. Take a taste. That's hard to drink out of. That's almost too big. All right, and I got this here, my food. I'm gonna go ahead and take a thumbnail. As you can see, it says Crystal because that's my name. Let's go ahead and do some thumbnails and whatnot. Oh, it smells really good. So when I ordered this, I got the Slim Chicken Meal. It comes with two to one toast. If you put it together, it's one, but together it's separate. So you notice that is a little uh, dry. I picked their homemade ranch sauce. Their honey mustard. Don't know if it's homemade or not. We'll see. It includes a french fries. Tastes good so far. And also, cold slaw. And people always say, why do you call it cold slaw, Crystal? Do you want your slaw hot? Do you call it hot slaw? It's cold. All right, I'm gonna try this. I mean, this line is wrapped around and up the street. Had this been, uh, you know, pre-telephone days, I couldn't have done it. Cause what am I gonna do? Sit there and read a book? People don't read books no more. Got me a four a spoon. It's a plastic spoon. 
people say. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Five stars already on the coleslaw. Very juicy. People been saying. Well, my neighbor, he comes over every couple of days and brings me a little stack of messages, people sending me comments. People have been saying, Crystal, when are you going to do another food review? Crystal, where are you at? And I appreciate the love. But unfortunately, or fortunately, you know, I've been on the road with Tammy. We've been traveling all over to places like Daytona. Meeting tons of people. Having sex and whatnot. Uh, but the thing is, is I get home and I'm by myself and I'm missing my family and I get what's called depression and anxiety and um, it's hard just to even get out to bed every day. I've been struggling. And I'm not saying this because I want you to feel sorry for me. You know, I just want people to know that I ain't neglecting my channel. I ain't neglecting my videos. Some days it's just hard to even get up and brush your teeth. Is that a personal flaw? No, it's a mental illness. So, if your friend is in the hospital because they got... some kind of genital disorder or maybe they uh, got a kidney stone you ain't gonna tell them oh suck it up smile everything's gonna be better no you say I'm sorry you're sick get well soon that's what that's what I tell myself I don't beat myself up about being depressed about being anxious because I know it's a, something with my brain ain't right you know there's a lot that's not right with my brain but with this depression, anxiety, and also have OCD, which really adds to the problem. Um, I don't say get, you know, put your head up and smile. And get out the bed. I say take care of yourself, Crystal. You know? Don't be hard on yourself, because this ain't your fault. And some people will say, well, have you tried yoga? Are you? Have you tried this or that? Some days I said, I can't brush my teeth. How am I going to do a yoga pose? You know? Oh, hell. So that's where I'm at. You know, I'm, I'm taking hour by hour, day by day. Sometimes I'll feel real good. A couple hours. Then go back downtown to Funky Town. And Funky Town ain't where you want to be. Unless you're trying to get funky, you know. Okay, so I have exhausted the the amount of cold slaw that I want. I'm gonna put the top back on there. I could take that home. Maybe when I'm out on the road, I could take this, wash it, put a, a couple of uh, peanuts in there. Maybe um, a lagoon, some kind of snack, and then you just take the top off and share it with your friend. So, like I said, these fries are good. I wish I had like a ketchup or something. They did give me a napkin. I like that. Just a regular. It looked like a paper towel. You know, in the in the bathrooms, it's perforated, but uh, it's a napkin. You can tell it's just a napkin. The way it's folded, they always fold a napkin like this. They better turn that music off. They're going to get me banned on YouTube. You rolled us up so you can't hear that music. Once again, attempting to take a drink out of a large straw. This is hard to... You know, other things that are large are hard to uh, put in your mouth, too. All right, I'm going to try my first tender. And I'm opening up the ranch. It has a nice little font that says 
ranch on there so you can identify it. Also, if you see right behind me on the wall, it says ranch. So it must be good. Oh, that is good. Ranch. I can already tell it's not going to be enough. Because you know me. Me and Tammy, we're sauce, we're sauce gals. I'm dipping this in here. Covering a large portion. That's good so far. Oh, I like the ranch. Mmm. They're good. I'm going to try it with some honey mustard before I make a final decision here. Oh, that's thick. That's thick sauce. They ain't playing. Oh, that is really thick. Look at that. like that honey mustard I'm gonna say it here and I will say this this is my opinion only if you want to come to Slim Chickens and try the honey mustard try it don't take my word for it I have a very diverse palate there's something in it that I just can't get on board with and I don't know let me check it out again That's the thing with honey mustard. Honey mustard. Two words. Honey and mustard. It have, should have two ingredients. Honey and mustard. If you're putting extra stuff in there, it ain't honey mustard. It's honey mustard plus whatever extra spice you're putting in there. I don't want the extra spice. I want honey mixed in a bowl with mustard. Take some honey. Put it in a little bowl. Take some Heinz mustard, squirt it in there, take the spoon, stir, and then place it in a cup for me. That's what I expect when you say honey mustard. I'm not expecting whatever that is. Still eating the first tender. I will say their tenders are large in size. What the hell? Mmm. Mmm. That's a good tender. I like it. They have different shape tenders. This one looked like a pterodactyl leg. This looks like a shrimp. A baby cub. A whale. Obviously a fetus of some kind. The moon. When it's not full. A crescent moon. That's nice. I didn't think they'd have shapes. It's getting hot in here. Damn. I got a push button car. And I never have, know how to do nothing. You gotta push the thing to start it. Push it to stop it. I've gotten out of the car before. Had my key in my hand, left the car running because I don't know what's going on. Oh, the other thing I want to talk about is my hair. I forgot to talk about this in the beginning. What's going on back there? I went to the salon and said I want to trim a color in a permanent wave, you know, because I like my hair curly. Well, she starts trimming it up, colors it up to my uh, favorite color. Then she puts a permanent uh, wave rods in. The smallest rods. Like this. And I wasn't paying attention. I was reading magazine. The smallest rods she could find. Usually I'll go with the mid. Because I like like a beachy curl. This woman has fried my bangs. Look at them. 
They're so curled up and fried, it don't even look like me. So needless to say, I will not be going to Fantastic Sam's again to get a permanent wave. I'll take my permanent wave business elsewhere. Maybe a super cuts. Meeting a pterodactyl wing, leg, arm. Mmm. Oh. Hard to eat. Chewy. The pterodactyl leg is chewy. I got about 20 more minutes of sunlight here. Oh, there's a beautiful rainbow. Oh, my God. Hold on a minute. I'm going to figure out how to do all this now. Oh, my God. It's beautiful. I'm going to turn. You see that beautiful rainbow goes all the way up. Oh, it's a double rainbow. Remember the video the fella said, oh, it's a double rainbow. Oh, look how beautiful it is. Oh, that is really beautiful. Put the camera on the Oh, look at it. Oh, I love it. It's beautiful. That was beautiful, wasn't it? Double rainbow. Well, that really brightened my spirit. I needed that rainbow. And people will comment and say, oh, it's it's not, it's a, uh, you know, it ain't an act of God or magical or leprechaun thing. It's um just because the rain is making a prism. Okay. Why you try to ruin my good time? As far as I'm concerned, there's a magical leprechaun at the end of that rainbow with the pot of gold. That's beautiful though, damn Wow, look at it. Mm. I'm going to give these chicken tenders um, three stars out of five. They're good. It needs more spice or something. I'm not a spice gal. Next time I come here, I maybe try their wings because I like eating wings. But the thing is, is wings is expensive right now. There's some kind of shortage or something. I guess chickens are being born without wings now. And um, there's a shortage of them, which is weird. That's the thing with these um, GMOs and everything and all this genetic testing. And this ain't... This might be a conspiracy, but I think because they're putting so many GMOs and everything, and these chicken uh, chickens are eating corn that's been genetically modified to make them not have wings. So the the government or whatever is like, hey, let's excuse me, I'm trying to do something. The government's like, hey. What if we do something like make chickens be born without wings? Then the price of chicken wings will go up and then we could tax that. Next thing you know, we're paying eight, nine, ten dollars per chicken wing. That's a lot of money for a wing. getting towards the end of the ranch which means I'm getting towards the end of the chicken well I guess this really was a crystals reviews and other things because I showed you a rainbow that's another thing I'm really pleased with my shirt though here we go try to take a drink out of here Oh, I didn't try the bread. That's good. It'd be better if it was hot, but it's good. That's the thing with me. I like my hot food to be hot. I don't like it to be cold. 
looks greasy, don't it? Damn. Why it looks so greasy? Grease everywhere. All right. Next thing, this was the part that I was really excited about. My friend Roger said, hey, when you go there, make sure that you get the dessert in the jar. And I was thinking, oh, they're just gonna have a little old fake jar. This is a genuine jar. It says uh, Slim Chickens on it. It's got a picture. Glass. So you could take this home. Maybe you want to have a drink of a Kool-Aid or a something else. Put it in a washing machine. Not a washing machine. What the hell is that thing called? Dishwasher. They had two kinds. They had a chocolate one and they had cheesecake. They was out of the chocolate one, so I said, give me the cheesecake. That just tastes like whipped topping. Or strawberry. Haven't hit the cheesecake yet. That's a lot of whipped up and damn. I thought maybe it was ice cream or something. Heel. Take some of that out of there. I like whipped topping, but Jesus Christ. Alright, here's a little bit of the cheesecake. It's like cheesecake nuggets. These people better get it together over here. They need more help or something. Oh, that cheesecake is delectable. Oh, I'm here for that. Mmm, damn. Mmm. I'll give this five absolute stars out of five. And maybe I will get diabetes from this. It'll be worth it. Every last bit of it. Mmm. Decadent, as Tammy says. Anytime we go somewhere fancy, Tammy says, decadent. Mmm. Damn. I see, I'm not done. I can take this home, put it in the fridge. I think I've had about enough of that food for right now. And I'm trying to keep my car clean. I'm not trying to mess up this car like my other one and put a bunch of trash and stuff I don't need in there. Okay, so you notice this guy, this chicken is a, holding a hat. I mean, wearing a hat and holding a guitar. So he must be a famous chicken musician. And I don't know what band he's in or... The crows are coming. Everybody knows me knows I love crows. And this area around here has lots of crows. I'm not sure why. But every time I come down here, this is in uh, part of St. Louis that's close to where the zoo is. There's always a lot of crows here. I love them. They flying all over. Terrible straw, though. That is the worst damn straw. I'm wondering if they ran out of straws and then using the shake straws or something, because when you got this many people coming through this line, you're bound to run out of something. So I'm about to get out of here because it's really a struggle to do anything. So hopefully, hopefully y'all ain't struggling. And if you are, just know 
why is my eyes look uneven? If you is, if you is struggling, it's what I tell myself. This ain't permanent. It's gonna get better, and, and it freaking sucks. Every day you wake up, you're like, oh god, not again, no. But I just remember, eventually, everything will be okay. And if it ain't, just fuck it. <laughs> Nice souvenir cup. Well, thanks for joining me for another episode of Crystal's Reviews. Somebody just sent me some money. Oh, that was nice. My friend Natalie sent me $25 and said, have lunch on me. That was very kind, Natalie. If you're watching this, thank you, honey. So, essentially, I just did. I had lunch on you, Natalie. So, this Slim uh, Chickens is sponsored by Natalie, my friend on Instagram and in real life. I've met her in real life. So, uh, all right then. Take care. I love you. Okay, bye-bye. I didn't cry this time. That's good, I guess. What happened to this fellow over there? He looking for something. Why do I do this? It's so silly. Why do I have a car that has a push button and you gotta push in the brake? That's weird. I like cars that have a keyhole. What John Stamos is doing right now. I wonder if John Stamos gets depressed. Maybe I'll ask him. <laughs>